Hi everyone, I am Joana Colucci from the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Economics at the University of Illinois. Today we are looking at how Brazil's corn consumption has been changing in recent years and what that could mean for the United States, the world's largest producer of both corn and ethanol. But before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any FarmDoc updates. Brazil, the global second largest ethanol producer, has seen a big expansion of corn-based ethanol plants across its center-west region. In 10 years, the amount of corn used for ethanol has jumped from just 16 million bushels to over 700 million bushels, making up about 15% of the country's total corn production. Unlike the US, where most ethanol comes from corn, Brazil mainly produces its ethanol from sugarcane. However, the number of ethanol plants using corn as their main feedstock is increasing. Right now, Brazil has 25 corn ethanol plants running, with another 15 under construction. As a result, corn ethanol production has peaked from 140 million liters 10 years ago to over 8 billion liters nowadays. That's about 22% of Brazil's total ethanol output. Meanwhile, ethanol from sugarcane has been stable, averaging around 28 billion liters a year. Corn ethanol is expected to account for nearly a third of Brazil's total ethanol production next season, reaching 10 billion liters. A major driver of this growth is the expansion of second crop corn, primarily planted in the Central West region, which now represents nearly 80% of Brazil's total corn production. Brazil's domestic corn consumption is also being driven by its animal protein sector, especially poultry. Brazil is the world's second largest poultry producer right after the US, and it's actually the biggest poultry exporter globally. Over the past decade, Brazil's domestic corn consumption has jumped by 53%, reaching out about 3.4 billion bushels. Of this total, the animal protein sector is expected to use around 2.5 billion bushels, while the food seed industrial sectors, which includes ethanol production, are projected to consume about 925 million bushels. Meanwhile, Brazil's corn exports are projected to reach 1.7 billion bushels, around 20% lower than the record set two years ago. This slowdown is mainly to the better harvest in other major producing countries, such as US, and a drop in demand from China. With processing plants set to handle a record amount of grain this season, Local corn prices in Brazil have climbed to their highest levels since 2022, when the Russia-Ukraine war began. Corn prices average over $6.50 per bushel in March, the highest nominal price in almost three years. By keeping more corn at home, whether for ethanol production or to feed its growing animal protein industry, Brazil is changing expectation for its role in the global market. With strong domestic demand, it's likely we'll see a reduction in Brazil's corn exports in the coming years. That would ease some of the competition with the US, corn exports and could push global prices higher. For more insights on global corn markets, be sure to check out the full article on FarmDoc Daily. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more FarmDoc updates. See you next time!